Police are increasing the number of patrols in Birmingham city centre to tackle late night violence. It follows the death of three men. Amapal Akhtar, Jason Bentley Morrison and Matthew Carroll were all attacked while on nights out in the city centre since the lockdown restrictions lifted. Well, Ben Sidwell is in the city centre tonight and Ben, as well as these three fatal attacks, there have been other assaults as well, haven't there? They have, sadly, in the last few weeks. Uh, multiple stabbing outside a venue on Hagley Road. A vicious attack on two men in Birmingham's gay village, and they're just some of them. Now, I've been speaking to the superintendent, who's in charge of policing for Birmingham city centre, and he said there have been many more violent nighttime attacks. We have seen in our disorder that it is aggression that's fuelled by uh, excess alcohol. Um, but that is why we'll be having an increased policing presence this weekend uh, and into future weekends, uh, utilising uh, resources from across our force area to ensure that we work with our partners to make the, you know, visiting and socialising in the city centre as safe as possible. Well, one of the teams that will be working much closer with the police are the street wardens here in the west side area of Birmingham. Senior warden is Peter Willis. I mean, explain to us, how, how it is, is it here at the moment at night time? It's been extremely busy. If you think Friday night before Christmas, New Year's Eve, all rolled into one. Enormous numbers have been coming into the uh, city centre to party and to celebrate and have a good time since uh, reopening. We've seen enormous numbers. A lot of them having a good time, but violence, have you seen more? Is it on the increase? We have unfortunately seen a rise in disorder. Most of it low level. Obviously, unfortunately, there's been some nasty incidences and our condolences go to Matthew Carroll and his family uh, and friends. But the disorders that we've seen have mostly happened late at night and have been the result of people overindulging you know, and taking the party atmosphere just a little bit too far. Just very briefly, what can you do? What can be done? Well, the street wardens are working very closely with the police, and our advice would be to anybody that if you see, you know, any problems, any, any situations developing, don't try and deal with it yourself, don't get involved, talk to the police, talk to the door staff and talk to the street wardens. Peter, thank you very much. Now, a 33-year-old man who handed himself into police has been arrested on suspicion of murder of Matthew Carroll, who sadly died uh, behind us here on the Saturday, uh, on Sunday morning. But uh, if you are coming out into Birmingham to enjoy the nightlife, you'll see a much greater police presence over the next few weeks. Ben Sidwell in Birmingham City Centre, thank you.